Hello and welcome. I have a unboxing today for you guys, and it's from Tokyo Otaku Mode. I ordered a figure from them, and this figure was actually stuck in customs for months, and I just received it today. So everyone else had theirs. You already probably seen it anywhere else, but this is my unboxing. I'll be taking photos of the figure. And uploading them on my Twitter, which will be linked in the description. So let's get started with this. Also, I have two more other on figures as well I'm coming. Also, I already took the labeling off, so yeah, just to keep my address safe. So give me a second to un get this. I'll be honest, they they put some real good tape on here, man. And, you know what? I wish I had a camera holder, but I still don't. And I should really invest in a camera holder. So, let's see what we got here. As you can see, we got this. Can't really hear. It says, enjoy the Otaku Life. Thank you. Alright, so we got this. Uh, I gotta cover it a bit. Um, but yeah. Let me set this. The reason why I had to cover it is they also put the paper in there that, you know, kind of tells people where you live. But anyway, so we got this cool looking thing. That's kind of nice. It's, it's a folder, so I just took the piece of paper out. I think that you're supposed to get something else in there. Sometimes they put stickers too. Well, I guess they didn't. But they always include a sticker with these. But yeah, the figure itself is like 21 bucks. Um, I guess, yeah, that's it for that. Actually, let me not put that over here. Let's set that over here. So, let's get to the unboxing. And I kind of wish I had a camera holder like I was saying before, but I don't. And yeah, if you don't know who the character is, it is Rimuru Tempest. From the time I got recording Dasa Slime. It's my favorite number one show. I truly love the show. It is great. Season 1, I love it. I own it on DVD and on Blu-ray. And I'm waiting... Well, it probably won't be until after Season 2 is done airing completely. I plan on getting that on DVD and Blu-ray as well. And I also did mention I have more figures coming as well. So, yeah. It's in bubble wrap. The package looks safe and secure, which is good. They put another piece of tape here I can't get with a single hand. Alright, I got that one. Oh no, we gotta go slow on the box. I don't want it to peel the box paint. Alright. Okay, well, that's good. We didn't peel any box paint. Alright, good. Yeah, we, we don't want to peel any box paint. Because, you know, the, this is collectors and I guess the people at the facility. Looks like a little slightly damaged, not too damaged. It's just like a little, I guess someone pushed on it. And it looks like there's a little right there. It's not bad as long as it's not heavily badly damaged. To be honest, they should really take more care and heed. Yeah, it looks like it might have been open up over there. I'm not sure if Customs is the one that did that. Yeah, 
man, because it looks the the way they apply the tape is kind of like, uh. Yeah, this is one of the figures I've been waiting for to get. Oh, let's move it right up here. Looks, the box art looks great. 21 bucks, definitely worth it. So I'm going to go ahead and set my phone down. All right, guys. I already got most, I got all the tape off. It, they put in like new tape over the original one. I'm not sure if this was in customs doing that. It feels like customs might have done that for a reason. Maybe to make sure it wasn't infected. Because, you know, we are still in the pandemic, the coronavirus pandemic. And yeah, the way they opened the box was so. Look at that. And that wasn't me. Like, I felt it when I was putting it in my finger decide to get it out yikes well, at least they didn't badly damage it but you know a collector collectors don't like you know well for me personally I don't like my boxes damaged even the little thing like that would bother uh, looks so, like everything's in here That's cool. It comes out like this. Well, from the looks of it. It's in a package. Yeah. Try to be very delicate with it. Well, looks like I'm going to have to take it out of the wrapper and assemble it myself, as you can see. But yeah, that's fine. It comes with the sword and stuff. I don't. From the looks of it, no, you can't sheathe it. It doesn't sheathe. It's just, it's really, it's just being hold. But, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and assemble this, and I'll be taking photos of it and putting it online. Um, but, but before I do end this video, I do have something cool I can show you guys. I plan on changing it out, as you can see below here. Uh, we have some little other figures here. Actually, let me just open it. Yeah. I have some other figures here. Um, also, those are like uh, keychains of Rumoro as well. And we got Gigi Kirito there, Ren, Umi, another Ren fig, a little figure thing oh and we also got this I kind of left it in here because I really th th this stands a little too small and I'm gonna be knocking it out and replacing it with something bigger to put those figures and plus all my extra ones I have oh into it of course you know it takes time because I'm need to have the I'm not sure I'm gonna do a case made custom made for me or one that's pre-built already. Because most pre-built ones use glass. This here actually uses the plastic. Which is really good. It keeps the figures from being messed up with the colors by the sunlight and stuff. Oh, there's glass. But glass is a little heavier. But yeah. Those are... All the figures, there's more to the side over that way and that way. But I do have more keychains as well on Rimuru, which I'll be sharing later on in another video. Well, until then, I want you guys to take care and thank you for, you know, getting be seeing me on boxes. And I will be putting it together and taking pictures to share on Twitter. So until then...
stay tuned for more. I do have two more figures coming. Have a good day, and peace out, everyone.